Motor vehicle accidents create numerous challenges for today's responders. It is our job to keep ourselves safe, our fellow responders safe, while addressing the needs of the patient or patients trapped in the vehicle. As you watch this video, keep in mind that these are controlled situations. It is important to realize in the real world, there are countless variables. Each situation is unique, which may require the rescuer to adjust on scene. Vehicles can be found in the most precarious of situations. This DVD series will give you a foundation in extrication and an understanding of the extrication process. We will look at vehicle construction, motive power, vehicle safety systems, the operational cycle, scene management, patient considerations, stabilization, glass management, extrication equipment, and extrication techniques. On this specific DVD, we will discuss in detail construction, motive power, and safety systems prevalent in today's vehicles. Let's look at CNG LNG as a fuel, first of all. One of the first things is the fact the physical properties of natural gas make it safer than most other fuels. It has a limited range of flammability, basically in the 5 to 15% range, and an ignition temperature of approximately 1100 degrees. This is actually greater than both ranges for gasoline and diesel fuel. Fuel density is lighter than air, so in the event of a leak, the gas will rise and disperse into the air. And lastly, natural gas is non-toxic. Many people confuse CNG and LNG. CNG, or compressed natural gas, is a fuel stored in a gaseous state at high pressure, around 3,600 pounds per square inch while LNG, or liquefied natural gas, is stored on board in a purified and condensed liquid by cooling it to minus 260 degrees. LNG needs to be stored in a double-walled vacuum insulated pressure vessel and usually found only in heavy-duty vehicles. CNG vehicles have extremely rugged fuel tanks and fuel systems due to the high pressure involved. Another safety feature that CNG fuel systems have is an automatic release valve in the case of excessive heat and or pressure buildup. The biggest drawback of this fuel is the greater amount of space required for fuel storage, especially in the CNG conversion of gasoline power vehicles. Frontal SRS is a, is a safety system located in the vehicle's steering wheel and the dashboard to protect the front seat occupants from a frontal impact. The device is electrically activated and mixes two chemicals together, making nitrogen gas to inflate the airbag. The initial generation of this device had one inflation module. However, today's vehicles have two inflation modules, which can be deployed independently or together, depending on the severity of the crash. Casual observation of the deployed device will not tell you if both or just one module has deployed. Out of all the safety systems in vehicles today, this system is the least likely to have an accidental post-crash deployment. However, we still need to use caution working around these, even if we observe that it has deployed. Side Impact SRS is a safety system mounted in either the sides of the seat facing forward to the exterior of the vehicle, or it is mounted in the door facing towards the occupants. This device inflates an airbag between the occupant's side and the side of the vehicle. These systems can be found usually in the front seat and or door and to a lesser extent in the rear seats or doors.